seven, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off for Falcon 9, go Falcon, go Galaxy 37. T plus 30 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. folks you just heard and saw those three events that happened back to back those were miko stage step and ses1 coming up next in around 30 seconds will be fairing separation as a reminder on the left side of your screen you are seeing a live view of the first stage and on the right side of your screen you're seeing a live view of the mbac engine attached to the second stage now keep a close eye on the telemetry in the bottom left and right corners of your screen. You can see MBAC is continuing to accelerate the payload faster and faster. And stage one is actually slowing down as it is no longer under power of rocket engines. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we go. There go those two fairing halves. We will be attempting to retrieve both of those again today once they fall back to Earth. And we'll be using our recovery vessel, Bob, for that. Stage one MTS is saved. And there's that call out. We did just start up engines one, five, and nine for the entry burn. This burn is around 20 seconds in total. You can see in the telemetry in the bottom left side of your screen that the vehicle is slowing down rapidly now. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And there we go. Just had confirmation of stage one entry burn shutdown. A good orbit and a stage one landing. Nominal orbit insertion. There we go. Great news there. Confirmation of a good orbit. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. There you have it, folks. That landing marks SpaceX's 213th recovery of an orbital class rocket. And that includes first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. Now, the mission isn't over just yet. And back in mission. And as you just heard and can see on your screen, we did just start up that MBAC engine. This is the second of two planned burns for the MBAC engine today. And again, this burn should last just about a minute. Now, today's mission is what we call a GTO, or Geostationary Transfer Orbit. The current burn is putting the high end of the orbit at an altitude of about 35,000 kilometers or 22,000 miles. And the spacecraft will do the rest of the work to put the other side of the orbit at the same altitude. At that point, it'll be in a geostationary orbit. Orbit. Great news there. Just had confirmation of a good orbit on the second burn. The payload is still attached to the Falcon 9 second stage, and deployment is scheduled in just about four minutes from now.
Galaxy 37 spacecraft separation confirmed. There we go, folks. With that confirmation of successful payload deployment, that will end our coverage of the Intelsat Galaxy 37 mission. All of us here at SpaceX want to give a big thank you to our customer Intelsat for entrusting us with today's mission. We also want to give a big shout out to the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's launch. Today's flight concludes SpaceX's 251st overall mission to date and our 52nd launch of 2023. And of course, thank you to all of our viewers for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening and we will see you again soon.